Sam Blow, I'm a cop in the camp. But ask the question. Okay. So what do you see as, as the Jewish mission of, of your camp? Well, the Jewish mission, the, the, the Judaism at, at our camp uh, seven or eight years ago was it was pretty strong, but there was um, a, a desire and a need to make it uh, better, make it um, more engaging for, for the campers and for the staff. Uh, and that was around the, the same time where I uh, participated in the second cohort of L'Chul L'Chem, the JCC Association at that point. And I think that the opportunity that I had there to um, learn about how to infuse Judaism into the daily life of camp, and not only the daily life, but also in, in our camp as a whole, 12 months a year, um, was really the catalyst towards making us a stronger uh, Jewish camp. Um, and that, was, that, that enabled me to buy in, so to speak, not that I didn't buy in any time before, but, but it certainly gave me a, a, a much different perspective on how um, Judaism could, could be uh, intertwined into the daily camp routine. And then it was an opportunity for us to engage our staff and ultimately our campers um, to, uh, to start to, to fill the role of a Jewish community center camp. Give to, to, to add the type of programming that we needed to add in our camp uh, to, to make sure that when campers came home at the end of the summer, uh, they knew that they were at a Jewish camp and their parents knew that they went to a Jewish camp and that was, that was important to us. Great. Can you give some examples of maybe of, of programs or trends or things that you see at your camp that have changed or been particularly effective? Sure. Um, we, uh, there's, there's several things. One, uh, just uh, the, the uh, general look and feel of camp, the, um, the artistic uh, component of, of when you walk around camp and there's signage and there's, there's uh, buildings that have the Hebrew name that, that you will see in a lot of different camps, but maybe we didn't see it at Emma Kaufman 10 years ago. And uh, you start to uh, uh, use Jewish stars on trees and, and, and values uh, uh, throughout the camp. So you start to, when you walk around camp, even if you're a visitor, you um, you have the opportunity to see that this is this is a Jewish camp. Um, we have programming at night that we call Sikum Moment that came directly from some L'Chulachem programming where um, I think we all at camp have uh, our staff wind the kids down at the end of the night, either telling them a story, reading them a book, turning off the lights, uh, having, having that quiet time. Uh, we engaged our staff maybe seven years ago to uh, make it a little bit Make it more, uh, make it deeper for the kids. Uh, spend time with the kids at night, similar to what parents do at home at night when they put their kids to bed. It's, it's a time, uh, a ritual, and this is a, was an opportunity for us to uh, change a complete culture because um, it used to be that the staff would just put their kids to bed and, and leave, and now they spend anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. Um, they'll start earlier. They'll they'll keep their kids up a little longer, which is okay in the in the camp uh, culture and. Uh, these Siku moments have changed, have changed the, the, uh, the, the whole camp culture to where the kids now don't even remember what it used to be like. Uh, they have always had a Siku moment, um, and these, this is what they remember. They don't, it's, they don't remember the blob and the rave and the horseback riding and the swimming as much as they remember the, the, the valuable times at night, um, uh, at meals. Uh, in, in the morning and before bedtime and, and, and those those special times with staff that um, uh, they'll, they'll remember forever. We're also involved in, corner, in Cornerstone. Um, we are involved in, uh, uh, we also, there's two other programs, uh, the Hizuk Fellowship through the JCC Association, uh, where we have a, um, an educator, uh, a Jewish program director, if you will, and uh, he or she over the last five or six years has really made a difference in learning and, and, and uh, uh, what our services look like and what Havdalah looks like and, um, and, and again what the Jewish culture of Emma Kaufman is. Um, we also are involved with the program uh, through the JCC Association Yisrael Shali uh, for teen Israel programming and that has made a difference as we, um, 
as, as the kids who, who start to become older uh, become more uh, engaged and, and able to, um, to understand uh, Judaism in a, in a different light, um, we're able to start to, to program for them a little bit differently uh, in their teen years. And then that all concludes with our CIT Israel Leadership Program that we've had for seven years where um, CITs will come to camp for two days and then they go to Israel for four weeks for a for a major leadership program and then they come back to the camp for four more weeks at the end to train uh, to also bring back their message of what they learned and how they grew at camp or I'm sorry in Israel and uh, and then they become staff and probably now um, 80 to 85 percent of our staff our current staff have been through our CIT program uh, we've had over 300 CITs that have gone through this uh, this component uh, CIT leadership program, and it has made a, a, a tremendous difference in the type of staff we have, um, what they're learning, um, and the trip itself. The three the three weeks or three or four weeks that they're in Israel, uh, they're gaining an opportunity to be with their peers uh, on an Israel trip, which is which is uh, uh, very dynamic and something that you don't get in in, in most other uh, opportunities to go to Israel and uh, that's part of why it's been uh, so successful for us. Great. Can you say a word about the parents and their reaction to the, the content of camp? Yeah, uh, I, I think it goes along with the, the, um, uh, the, the, the seven or eight years that we've made the camp, we've made the, the educational component and the, Ju the Judaism of Camp Stronger. They have also bought in more. Uh, you know, I don't think that we're looking um, I think we all know where where we want to go. I don't think we're there yet, um, but we're getting a lot closer. Um, parents send their kids to camp for a number of different reasons, and one is to, to make sure that they have a Jewish experience. And, and uh, I think that our, our uh, uh, parents are, are happy and satisfied with uh, where we're, where we are, and the, the kids come home with knowing knowing prayers and, and uh, feeling more. Um, into a Shabbat experience, whether it's just lighting candles or, or more than that, um, and that makes that makes a big difference that they've they've learned that and felt that that can. Great, thanks so much.